in this video I'll uh, straighten things up a little bit. I will um, get the boxes into a folder of their own within my larger folder and uh, make sure that they're in the right order and add some more text to um, what goes inside the uh, place marks for um, or the labels rather for the uh, boxes. So first thing I'm going to do is add another folder and I'm going to call this one powers of 10 boxes and just say OK and since I had the uh, folder highlighted it went inside the folder. If I didn't have the folder highlighted it would go off to some mystery place but as in many things you can um, do command F or control F and uh, and hunt out what you were looking for whatever you just labeled it. So I'm going to put the drag these things down in here one by one and I'm doing it in reverse order because it puts the last thing you drag at the top of the box and you can actually drag them around to reorder them but if you do it this way you don't have to do that and there that opens up again now what I'll do is starting with my 10 meter by 10 meter box I'll zoom in there just for yucks and while I'm zooming I will open up the um, the text box that goes with it and I've created a file with um, some labels to put in there so 10 meters by 10 meters equals 100 square meters that's about the length of a school bus and so I'm just going to paste that in here in this file. Uh, this text is alongside um, this video and uh, it's also available as a Microsoft Word document you can download. You know, OK, and that was the 10 meter one. Now I'm going to go out to the next one. I'm using a keystroke shortcut to open up um, the text box to speed things along a little bit. Just copy that and paste it in. Go OK, and out to the next one, and get info. And you could uh, customize these labels a little bit, put a little bit more info in there to get people thinking about it, or you could have the kids write, your students write descriptions of what's here. And 10 kilometers by 10 kilometers. There we go. And just do this on down. I'm going to pause so you don't need to listen. I want to get out to 1,000 kilometers by 1,000 kilometers. You begin to see the curvature of the Earth. We'll look at what that looks like in a moment. Um, but our squares are apparently no longer square, a little bit anyway, showing a little bit of the curvature of the Earth there. And I made a note of that in the text here. And if you want to go out to 10,000 kilometers and draw another box, well, you can't because the Earth doesn't cooperate for doing that. So we go out this far, and what I'm going to do is just put a place mark on the limb of the Earth and call it where a kilometer comes from. That's a kilometer is... Um, is, was originally defined as one ten thousandth of the distance between oops, between um, the equator and a pole and I'm gonna here I'm gonna snapshot current view so that when I come out to this place mark this is the view I get and uh, I'm gonna flip back over and label that description appropriately so again I copied from here copy that flip back over to Google Earth, paste it in, and go OK. And now I've got my stuff all set up, and it's pretty much ready to play. And the way you play it is you highlight your Powers of 10 folder, or what I've labeled Powers of 10 boxes, and you click the little play button down here, and it'll zoom through, and I'm going to show you in the next and last video a little bit about how to customize some settings there.